So I've been getting some great responses on the X video that I did, but as you can tell, this time I went ahead and traded in my football pads, and I figured I'd give you guys a better screen to go ahead and watch. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna call upon the X again, and we wanna try a different problem. So here we can see we have X squared minus 3X minus 40. And one thing that I want you guys to take with this, since this would be the second problem as far as factoring using the X method, is that there is not a number in front of the variable squared. Now I say variable squared because on your test or homework or quizzes or anything of that sort, this can be a Y squared, it can be an A squared, it could be basically any letter squared. So in math terms, they call that a variable. So when there's not a number in front of the variable squared and it asks you to factor a trinomial and a trinomial is three terms, um, then we can go ahead and we can call upon the X. So what I do is I go ahead and make a nice big X right here. So when we're doing this, remember the key thing is to drop this number down. So I'm gonna bring the negative three don't worry about the variable. Just bring the number and the sign that's in front of it and bring it right down here. Then I take this number plus the sign and I put it right here. So that would be a negative 40. Good. So now what I have to ask myself, and I, I want to ask myself, what multiplies to this but adds to that? So remember, what multiplies to negative 40 but adds to negative 3? I'm going to give you guys one quick tip to help you guys out here. When these signs are both negatives, when these signs are both negatives, remember this, that there will be one positive and one negative in there, okay? It's always gonna work every time. You don't have to question or think too hard about that. But when these two signs right here are both negative, I promise you, one's going to be a positive and one will be a negative. A lot of my students always ask and I tell them, just trust me on that. Okay, so now I basically have to ask myself, what multiplies to negative 40 but adds to negative 3? A lot of times when my students, they say, well, you know, I don't really get what you mean because how can you add to get a negative number? And let me give you an example. What if we did negative 10 plus 7? That would actually give me a negative 3. Now, that just happened to work out that way. Don't worry. These are not the numbers that we're using. But you see, a negative plus a positive will give you a negative if the negative is bigger. Don't worry, you don't have to get too confused on that, but I wanted to show you what that meant. So let's cross that out. We're not gonna worry about that. But let's think of something that would multiply to 40. Let's see, we have two times 20. That gives us 40, but it has to be a negative 40. So let's see, what if I did two, negative two times 20? That would give me a negative 40. But remember, it has to add to, neg to negative three as well. So what if I did negative two plus 20, because they have to be the same numbers. That's the trick to this. And that would give me a positive 18. So that doesn't work. Here's one more tip I'm gonna give you guys. When this number's a negative, the bigger number will be the negative. Now, I understand, yes, you're saying, I know negatives get confusing at times. Just follow my lead and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, let's try eight times five. Well, eight times five gives me 40, but I need to make it a negative 40. So what if we did negative eight times five? That actually does give me a negative 40. So I multiplied to get a negative 40, but remember it has to add to it. So we have negative eight plus five. What does that give me? That gives me a negative three. So wait a minute, I have negative eight times five, which gives me a negative 40. And then I also have negative eight plus five, and that gives me a negative three. So here, I would go ahead and put five, and here I would put the negative eight. Now, I know what you're saying. Positive five is bigger than negative eight. Correct. I'm not saying worry about the actual value of the number. I'm just saying look at the number itself. Remember, when these two signs are negative, then the bigger number in here, just eight, without looking at the sign, will always be the negative because it adds to a negative. And then negative eight plus five will give me a negative three. If it's confusing, just go with what you know. So here, now, I basically have done all the hard work. So all I have to do, since it's x squared, is I'm gonna go ahead and put x like this, and then another set of parentheses, and an x like this. And now I'm just gonna put my plus five here, and I'm gonna put my negative eight there, and I went ahead and I factored this problem. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So I know I got into a lot more information on this one, 
but it was just to answer some questions that I had received previously. Hope this video helped.